My question for today, do you want to succeed even with this crisis? And do you want to reinvent your career? Because really, even with this crisis, lies an opportunity for everybody to reinvent your career. This is the question I want to ask you. Do you want to succeed? And do you want to reinvent your career? And if your answer is yes, then this is the right um, webinar. And I would like to also thank first my um, Centro Mavens for inviting me. Doc Ru, thank you very much for this opportunity. I would like to thank everybody who's watching live, everybody who's in Zoom, and everybody who's in Dubai, in the Philippines, and wherever you are. Um, today, I would really like to take this opportunity to thank you and to share Kasi lahat talaga, the three steps I'm going to share with you is born out of crisis. And I'm very excited. These are three simple tips that helped me reinvent my career from being, sabi nga ni Sisert, from being a CPA to auditor to an international coach and speaker. Is my sound clear, Sis Ruth? Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, let me just, just hold on. Since my slides are not moving, right? Yeah, not moving. Let me just. Your talk is very. Oh, yeah. Let's move. They did yeah. move now. Yes, yes. It's... Okay. As a way of thanking everybody who's watching now, I will give you a free reinvention career blueprint. Yes, this could be the best time to do your career reinvention. Just send me an email at this email address, kaltantraining at gmail.com and I will personally share with you these slides plus the career reinvention blueprint that can help you start today. <laughs> Paano ba ma invite yung career na yan? And the first question I want to ask you today, what do you want to learn? Kasi what I understand, a lot of people now, we do attend webinars, and dami mong binabasa. Pero ang tanong, what do you really want to learn? I want you to write it down in your cell phone or if you have a notebook right now because it is very important to have that clarity in mind. Ano ba yung gusto nyo matutunan from me? Because at the end of the day, this will bring you more clarity. Sabi nga ni Napoleon Hill, success starts with clarity of purpose. I hope as I speak continuously, you will start writing. And allow me just to con uh, just to share quickly. Ano ba yung reinvention formula ko? This is my reinvention only for the past four years. So in 2016, I was an audit manager in Emirates Airline. And I had the pain of really wanting to take care of my two young kids then. So sabi ko talaga, gusto ko maging, ang dream ko na maging housewife. It all happened in 2016. So as I became a housewife, na bored ako talaga. Parang nagkaroon ako na stay-at-home depression because working for 16 years is not easy and then just letting all of it go. From being a housewife, I became a coach and that also led me to pursuing my dream of becoming an international speaker and becoming a CEO of my own company. I own Kaltan Training and Consultancy in the Philippines. And last year, something really happened bad in the Philippines. It was uh, April of last year. If you remember, there was an earthquake na nangyari. At the same day na nagkaroon ng earthquake sa Philippines, nagkaroon din ng attempted robbery dun sa apartment namin sa Makati. So, hindi kami makapasok ng bahay. Thankfully, hindi naman natuloy yung robbery. Hindi kami makapasok ng bahay just because nasira lahat ng doors namin and also the locks are really totally damaged. So, it was kind of a traumatic experience for the family because our safety was threatened. So, that this actually a crisis that struck our family. But it is, if I look at it now, a year from now, I am very blessed that happened because that opportunity led us to move back to Dubai. And I am now with uh, Fly Dubai as a senior auditor. And this is my reinvention over four years. It, it's the same three-step formula I will teach you that helped me really to jump from one um, career to another because really it is possible for me and it is, it is really possible for anyone who want to really change their careers and to become successful no matter what is happening in your situation. 
Uh, more about me. So I'm a wife and a mother. I'm an international coach and speaker. I am a certified NLP master practitioner. I think of the many things I learned. Itong NLP kasi is all about how the mind works. This really is one game changer for me that helps me manifest and get what I want in the quickest time possible. This also helped me uh, help a lot of clients land their job in three months, um, get their career, their life, life, and many other goals. And from then on, it has been my mission to live to help others really live happier lives. Happiness can mean different things to different people, and that is really my goal to help others in anyone I in any way I can. And this webinar is one of the ways I hope I can help you to be happier today. Ito, one question: Do you know? that 60% of people are unhappy with their jobs. According to a Gallup poll, majority of people are unhappy with their job, more than 60%. It's quite alarming, right? But why do people really stay with their jobs? Do you have any idea? I know, hindi ko kayo masyadong, hindi ko kayo maririnig at this point in time. But really, the, the question, the answer to this is that the mind hates change. It's the point number one principle about how, how our mind works. We are actually using only 10% of our brain power because 90% of our functions is already automatic. We are really operating automatically. Siguro niyo talaga, isipin niyo pa, I want to ask you this question. Do you still think kapag nagtututprash kayo? Do you still think when you are taking a bath, when you walk, when you breathe? Everything really is working on autopilot for all of us. Eh. Um, that is why even this pandemic now is kind of difficult for many people because this really totally changed the way we, we operate our lives. We don't go to offices anymore. We're just stuck in the four corners of our house. And this is one of the main reasons a lot of people, sabi nga ni, ni Doc Didi, a lot of people are suffering from depression, from anxiety, because your mind was totally disrupted of what is happening. And I want to give you just a very short exercise to prove to you na talagang disruptive itong change na ito. I want you to cross your arms like this. Okay, the way you cross your arms. And now I want you to do it the reverse way. So if you're doing it the same thing as the picture, you do it the reverse way. So, ang tanong ko sa inyo first, are you comfortable with changing the way you do your, cro your cross arms? And how long can you really stay? Na naka-reverse talaga yung pagkaka-cross arm niya, di ba? That is a very simple exercise. Eh. When I do this exercise on the live workshop, most people will tell me, Naku, ma'am, ang hirap pala na naka-reverse yung pagkaka-cross arm ko. I find it very difficult. First, I find it confusing how to do it. And I'm not really comfortable at it. And that is really what's happening now. A lot of people now are in discomfort, are confused with what's happening around us because our mind is resisting the change that is happening around us. But I would like to reiterate what Doc Dido is saying. We will go through this. The new normal will be different, but it will definitely be over soon. Let me continue my slide. Again, I would like to, if you can read it out loud, I hope you can read it with me. This is always a great re reminder for me. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. Well, first, I already told you, our mind resists change, right? Pero sabi nga ni Charles Darwin, hindi yung strongest Hindi rin yung most intelligent yung nagsosurvive, but it is the one who's most adaptable to change. If we want to look back at history, if really it's the strongest, di sana yung mga dinosaurs alive pa. But really, they were not able to survive a lot of changes that are happening. A lot of companies have died already like Kodak because they were not able to survive to, ch to change. Now, on a personal note, I know you want at the bottom of your heart, you want to succeed. But it is really your ability to adapt to change that will bring you that success that you want. Well, I've been moving countries for the last four years from Philippines to Malaysia. Uh, sorry, from Dubai. I moved to Malaysia, then to Philippines, then to Dubai. It, it has been a disruptive, I'll say disruptive life for me and my family. 
and especially for the kids. But as I talk to my kids, they don't really find it disruptive because we were able to to, to instill with them the value of being adaptable to change. They, I always tell them to, what's the opportunity that this change is bringing to you and to our family? And this is the question I want you to ask yourself also. Do you want to succeed? If your answer is yes, the first criteria and the first thing you have to do is to be adaptable and to be at peace with whatever change is going to bring to you. Okay, let me just give you a few examples. These are the, actually they said with every crisis lies an opportunity. These are some of the big companies that has totally disrupted the industry. See, if you look at Uber, it is the world's largest taxi company, but it doesn't have any taxi. Airbnb, it's the world's largest accommodation provider, but it's not a real estate company. It doesn't own one either. Netflix, I know. A lot of you now are into Netflix. It is the world's largest movie house, pero it doesn't have any cinema. I am, I am not saying you be the next inventor of this, but you just take this inspiration to bring forward, ano ba yung pwede mong gawin? What can you do differently? As this disrupting is happening, how can you reinvent yourself and your career so that someday you can also do something differently on a bigger scale? that will help you and your family. I know a lot of seafarers are watching now, a lot of OFWs as well, and a lot of people in the Philippines. Seafarers are close to my heart because I think it's a family side ko with mom. Every member of my mom's nine siblings, lahat talaga doon may seafarer. So mga seafarer, I know this is not the, the easiest time for you first because now um, you were sent home unexpectedly. Second, you're in quarantine in the hotel. And third, you have no clarity or certainty. Kailan ba kayo ulit may employ Kailan ba ulit kayo tatawagan ng employer ninyo? So I want you to, 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 to inhale <laughs> deeply and absorb, I hope, the next three tips that I will tell you that can help you restart and reinvent your career on a different way. Um, there's uh, actually, there are two main virus. Let me just quickly touch upon. I know Sister Dido na discuss na rin niya. But majority of what's happening, more than the COVID-19 virus, there's the, num the second virus that's really um, disturbing a lot of us. It's the virus dun sa mind natin. And the virus in the mind that keeps you awake at night kasi you are buried. The virus in the mind that um, really bothers you about what's happening around the virus in the mind that keeps you fearful na baka magkaroon ka ng virus o yung family mo. The virus in your mind na natatakot ka even eating the food that is before you because it might be infected. And this is really more than the COVID-19 itself. It's the virus in the mind that that's really the battle for everyone. And the moment that you learn this technique of how to conquer that virus in your mind, everything will be possible. As, as Brother Bo initially said, let your faith be replaced by your, uh, let your fear be replaced by, by your faith in the Lord. At, eto na, I have this very simple step. How to reinvert, reinvent your career in three simple steps. You need to accept very, very, very madali itong matandaan because it's only three A's. Accept, Asked and act. Okay, let's start with the first one. First, you need to accept. A lot of people are, are now in denial. They said, oh, it's going to be back to normal maybe soon. But I hope you just to accept what happened because the past is already past. No matter how much effort you do now, hindi na natin mababago yung past. You can never change your past. You also have to accept what is happening. I cannot control what's happening around me. But the good thing is you can always control what's happening inside you. That's what really matters. And you accept to choose to move on. Second, accept, uh, choose to stop blaming. Accept and choose to stop blaming. I know a lot of people I heard are complaining about government, about, about many things. And the, the reality is that we can never control government. We can never control others. But you, the moment you control yourself, that is really where your true power lies. Lastly, 
Choose to start taking 100% responsibility of your life. Well, ito yung talagang nagmamatter eh. And let me just quickly share with you a formula. Sabi nga dito, this is one of my super favorite quotes. Even Jack Canfield, one of the uh, really famous personal development um, guru in the world, always talks about this formula. Life daw, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. Well, if you look at what happened to me last year, if I may share again, I told you there was a attempted robbery in the Philippines that in an earthquake that happened on the same day. It was very traumatic for me because that day, Palis Pasana si husband is he's supposed to travel for a business trip, and I'm doing a DTI training at the same time. So I was really disrupted too much because of what happened. And that event, I cannot control the earthquake. I cannot control those people who attempted to, to open our house, but it is our reaction towards it. So I told my husband that time, na, okay, please do not travel anymore. Make sure that the house is secure and we have a proper lock in the night time. I cannot uh, let go of the TTI training, so I had to continue with it. And then when the earthquake come in the afternoon, which is again another round of shock for the family, it was in the evening when my husband said, I think we have to go back to Dubai. Um, it was really a difficult decision for the family because we have to leave everything behind. Because for the past 13, 14 years, we're really away from the Philippines. We just relocated in in few months, almost mag one year na kami. But then we had to leave again. And I was just starting my company. And I was just I just built the ties with DTI, with BSP, and many companies. So it was kind of difficult to make that decision. But it's the 90% of how we react to that situation. Eh? We said, okay, family uh, is what we always value. So we said, we want to make sure the kids are okay. So let's go back to Dubai. So when we came back here, it was really a gamble. We had to search for jobs again. But it, we're able to do that in one month or so and wrap up everything. Even my job, I was able to find it in eight days. And it's all about this formula. First, I was able to accept to let go of what I've built for my company then. I have accept what happened. Um, I forgave those rubbers. I accepted the earthquake and I accepted to move on and continue because there's always a next step. So my question to you, fine, this crisis is just the 10% and the 90% is really up to you. How do you want to react to the situation? Do you want to be successful during this time or do you just want to um, just let go and relax well it's really your choice because your present will define what will happen to you in the next future and days to come i hope that's very clear to you i'll take the q a later but let me move on to the next one asked this is a very important uh formula because I believe in what Tony Robbins said. I hope you can read it with me uh, if you are watching. You can read it out loud with me. The quality of your life depends on the quality of questions you ask yourself. Sabi nga ni, um, ni, ni Sir Dido at ni Brother Bo kanina, don't ask why, don't ask why, Lord. You ask what, Lord. Kasi pag sinabi mong why, your mind will think about magko-cost-benefit analysis pa yan eh. root cost analysis pa siya of why did it happen, why did it go wrong. So mag magpupunta ka pa into blame strategy and finding what's really wrong. But if you focus on the what, if you ask what now, so it's about moving forward. You become solution-oriented. So it's always the quality of the question that you ask yourself that will help you move forward. And if I may just um, ask you now, a lot of seamen, ito kasi, and even OFWs, when we go home to the Philippines, parang one day millionaire, di ba? When we go home to the Philippines, a lot of relatives, friends will come and see you. So you have to spend here and there. At some point, parang one day millionaire guy, you withdraw like 10, 20,000 a day, and it, it just gets lost for, for you don't know what happened. So the question I want to ask you today, Okay, you don't have a job now, maybe, or maybe yes. But how much do you really need every month to live the life you want? How much ba yung kailangan mong pera so you can live a comfortable life? So let's say, for example, you have 100,000 now. Fine. 
how long will that 100,000 last? And is that 100,000 sufficient enough for you to really bring your family to the next months to come with this much uncertainty? Only you can tell about this, eh? how much do you really need every month? But I want you to ask this question because the moment you have that big picture na, ay, ito lang yung pera ko, there are two ways you can manage that money that you have now. First, ikat ni yung cost nyo. Or second, you think of other ways to make income for yourself. And the next questions I'm going to tell you will going to help you think further. Ano ba yung mga questions na pwede kong itanong sa sarili ko? So these are the questions you have to ask yourself. How long can I survive with the money I have? A lot of people, especially OFWs, pag umuwi tayo ng Pinas, we miss a lot of things and we want to buy this, buy that, eat this, eat that. But I want you to have that consciousness of hey, how long will you survive if you keep on spending your money? The next thing, if you really want to succeed and reinvent your careers now and earn more money, the question you need to ask yourself, what service can you offer now that people are willing to pay you for? Maybe Maruno kayong, uh, maybe you, need, you know how to make a mask. A lot of sabi ni, ni Sir Dida, we're going to be um, a, a mask-wearing people, mask-wearing nationality. So mask will always be on a trend. So if you, this is an opportunity for people now. If kumaruno kayong magtahe, then you start making that an income. What do you need, what do people need now other than mask? Where they still need food? Maybe if you have some spare lot, edit maybe you can plant something and then sell something and i would like to uh, comment sir Dido when he said helping of um when you help someone you also help yourself what how can you help others today it doesn't have to be big sometimes you just need an ear to listen some people are into the verge of depression and just lending your listening ear can save a life and other than that how can you really help others today so that will be beneficial to you and to really to the people. Um, and the other question, what do you need to do to reinvent your career? What do you need to do now? Do you need to learn something? Uh, do you need to connect with other people? Do you want to, do you need a mastermind group? Uh, and about other questions, what side hassle can you start right away? Or maybe your family? Maybe they get, I heard, sabi ni Sir Dito, the temperature now in the Philippines is about 40, 42 degrees Celsius. Well, this is somehow like Dubai level, but this is summer really in the, sa disyerto, ganda talaga kainit, so that's acceptable for me. But when I saw that in the Philippines, that's a temperature, it was quite alarming for me that we're on the same level of temperature. Maybe you can start selling ice. Because now people are really feeling the heat. Then maybe selling ice can be a side hassle for you. Ice, ice candy, or whatever. What business can you start with zero or less capital? A lot of people that I coach, they will all say, Mom, I don't have any capital. So I always ask them that question. What can you start as a business without zero or very minimum capital? Or that ice, or that ice candy, or maybe... Um, somebody who's selling something for somebody, or you sell your old stuff. I'm sure by now you always have a lot of old stuff just lying around. Maybe you can sell it in carousel or in any other medium. Oh, other question, who can I connect with to start my business idea? Maybe some of you already have some business ideas in mind. But it's always a question of who do you need to connect with? Um, this webinar was made possible because I connected with Doc Road. I was, for the past few days, I've been thinking, how can, be, uh, how can I be of service to others? Because I have some free time and I just want to share what I am doing and what I have done to become the person I am today. And sabi nga ni Sis Ruth, oh, we have a lot of seafarers and, and nest nano, so let's do something. And also, we were able to do a webinar naman for the students in her dormitory. And this is the other question you have to ask. Uh, who do you need to connect with to serve others, to help others, to start your business idea? Uh, who are your potential customers? It could be your immediate relative. It could be your friend. And the last and most important question, why do you need to succeed or reinvent your career? Your, your why has to be always of clarity. Why do you do what you do? So see first, but can you work? Is it for your family? Well, 
if you're working for your family, then that could be the same motivation for you to continue, to continue to take some action to reinvent your career so you can continuously provide for your family, provide for yourself, and provide for those people who depend on you. If some of you have questions, let's pause it later. But let me move to the last one. Ah, okay, sorry. Before that, this is what I love. Uh, this is called the Ikigai. Maybe you've heard this principle already. This is a Japanese concept. This is what is just a, a clear picture. See, Ikigai is the intersection of what you love to do, what the world needs, what you can be paid for, and what you are good at. It's, it's the intersection of your passion, your mission, your vocation, and your profession. The moment that you can put that ikigai all together, this is really your area of success. You will never fail. Um, because if really, let's say you're passionate, maybe you're a seafarer, but you're passionate about, let's say, building. Or let's say you're passionate about building chairs, for example. Well, a lot of people now are working from home and having a comfortable chair is something that most people working from home wants. If you're passionate about building chairs and you find it passionate to build something for what is needed now, which is a comfortable chair for office workers, that could be your mission to help those others. And that could be your profession as well. That, can, that is what you can be paid for. The moment that you have clarity of your ikigai, this is where your success uh, really will happen. The last question, the last tip, act. Well, you need to act. You can keep on learning from me or from many other um, mentors. You can attend so much webinars. But this is what Maya Angelou said, nothing will work unless you do. Maybe you have a lot of business ideas. You do have a lot of time to spare. Um, you can keep on binge eating. You can keep on binge watching. But if you really want to change something in your life, um, nothing will work unless you do. And some actions you can start doing now. So let me just, uh, um, just I just list down here some of the things you can start doing. You can start asking help, asking help from people you know, asking help from people you don't know. Um, I've met a lot of generous people. I've, I've met a, a few millionaires. I just sent a message on Facebook. I just said, sir, I really love your work and I want to learn from you someday. And that person was generous enough to even spare a time and meet me in Dubai. I was able to have a lunch meeting with him. And he shared with me that, you know, his successes is a product of his failures also. And I was very inspired with that. Um, you can ask help. You can call a friend. If you want to learn a new craft, this is the best time to do it. My kids have learned a lot of new things over this crisis. They've learned baking. They've learned flip books and many other. And Age is not even a concern here. If you want to learn, nothing can stop you. That is what I personally believe. You have a lot of time. You can learn a new craft. Do what you love to do. Or if you're into writing, that's also a very good thing. A lot of people now are looking for content creators. Then you can offer services of writing. Doing what you love to do is one of the Ikiga equations. And it's just putting another puzzle of, okay, this is what I love to do. How can I use that to be of service to others. You also need to sleep more. Actually, a lot of people said, really, the sleeping more helped me. If you know, um, I've read a story about Einstein. He loved napping. And actually, most of his ideas come after a nap. There's an explanation. Um, how our mind works, really. We need uh, a number of naps. We need really a proper rest time. So our minds can give us really a good, um, it will function to its maximum potential. Most of my ideas actually come after a good night rest sleep. As I was preparing this slide, sabi ko kay Sis Ruth, I think it will be good if I also give them the blueprint of, of what I'm discussing now and what can help them move further. And that is because I had a great sleep last night. It's your sleep really matters. According to study, do you know that you can sleep, you can actually survive without eating for 20 plus days, but you cannot sleep, or you, cannot, you cannot survive if you don't sleep for at least two weeks. So if you look at that equation, wow, sleep is really more important than eating. You can attend webinars, webinars that can help you really develop further the skills that you need to learn. Um, you can also start getting online certificates. A lot of 
companies now, even the government is offering a lot of webinars now. I think this day is even now online. One of my friends got a, a cooking, um, a chef certificate, something like that. So if you're into cooking, those certificates really matter to some people. So start learning free and get your online certificate so you can be recognized. You can listen or read the book. Audible now is even free for registration for one month. If you're not into reading, you can listen to a book through Audible and it's totally free. You can attend mass online if you're feeling really depressed or down. Maybe attending mass can help you to listen to inspiring music and also make a plan. This is the best time to make a plan. How do you want to see yourself 10 years from now? How do you want to see yourself five years from now? How do you want to see yourself one year from now? And you need to start making a plan to make that happen. If you're already ready, you have already an idea, there are a lot of online platforms where you can offer your services. There's Upwork, there's Freelance, 99 cents. There are many, many websites where you can start offering your services and get, get paid for that. If you want to earn money, you don't know what to do yet, you need some capital, you can also sell your stuff. Carousel in the Philippines is the new OLX. Um, I remember when I came up to the Philippines, I have so much stuff. I, I sold a few. It's totally, we don't need it anymore. I was able to earn some money from that. So sell your stuff. First, it will free up your cabinets and you'll also get some money. You read the biography of inspiring entrepreneurs. Maybe you want to build the business and success leaves close. Learning from those people who were already successful before you can really equip you to reinvent your career and start now. Okay, as Abraham Lincoln said, I hope you can read it with me. The best way to create your future is to create it. The future will remain uncertain from everybody. They call it, these are the unsettling, unprecedented times. I know it is uncertain, but also the best way to create your future is to create it. And that is about creating it now. Let me just recap. Ano ba yung three steps? What are the three steps to succeed and reinvent your career? You need to accept. You need to ask a lot of questions to yourself. You need to start taking action. And if I may ask, I, I know we, you cannot type in the, or maybe you can type on the Facebook page or in the Zoom, in the Zoom chat, what is the number one action you will do now? Because Sabi nga nila, um, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Maybe you have a very big dream. Maybe you have a very big um, income amount that you desire. Maybe you want, oh, I want to earn one million a month. Fine, I'm okay with that. But the question you need to ask yourself, what is the number one action you will do now to start making that happen? Because that is what really all matters. Action will be your game changer for everything. And these are just the last few of my slides before I go to the Q&A. You can connect with me to get inspirational messages um, in Facebook or in LinkedIn. This is my name and this is uh, my email address. Also, if you want to get your career reinvention blueprint, please email now this kaltantraining at gmail.com and I would be more than happy to share it with you. And allow me just to share, a few of you here might think, oh, I'm already ready to reinvent my career. And you want to make it happen very fast. And this is really, I've had so many coaches in the past. I've had so many programs. And this really helped me progress from one career to another. I know it's my time to help others. So if this resonates with you, if you think this will be useful, then I would be glad to work with you. I call this the Career Reinvention 101. Well, you can reinvent your career in three months or less. I will help you guide. I will guide you and I will help you to create a new vision and career for your life. I can mentor you with a developed step-by-step -step reinvention strategy. We can, I can help you fast track your next year, next career. And it's going to be a six weeks uh, group coaching with a step-by-step -step guide. This is just more details. If you want to get coached, get clear, get connected with your ikigai. A lot of people I found is that they're, they're, the big question is, what am I really good at? And what business can I start? What services can I offer? 
And this group coaching is going to help you get clarity on those points. And definitely all the recordings of this group coaching is going to be a lifetime access for those who's going to have it. Well, this program is for you. First, if you are not clear what is next in your career, or maybe you already have an idea, but you are not sure whether it will work or is it really useful. Second, maybe you have no clear roadmap yet where you are and where you want to be. And third, you just want to do it very fast. You want to save your time and money experimenting. And lastly, you want to achieve your goals really, really fast. If this is for you, um, I want you to send again an email to caltantraining.com and I'll be more than happy. Uh, this program is certainly not for everybody. It's only for a limited number of people I am willing to coach with. First, if you're really interested in program, you email caltantraining at gmail.com. We will have a one-on-one -on -one discovery session first. And I, if we are really fit to work, then I will be more than happy to discuss this further with you to make sure I can help you move to your next career. And with that, before the q and I pray today that you have the eyes that see the blessing in this burden that's happening now. I am praying that you have the heart that forgives the worst and loves unconditionally. I pray that you have the soul that never loses faith in yourself and in God. And I pray that you become the person that God wants you to be. With that, I would like to thank you for watching. Please email kaltantraining at gmail.com for your uh, reinvention blueprint and for those who want to take the one-on-one -on -one, uh, and the group coaching.